Hi, this is Vijay Kumar and today's class we will see what is LOV in D2K forms. So, uh, which is the most important concept in D2K forms? List of values. What is LOV stands for? List of values and which is used to display a multiple columns list. So, whenever you want to see the multiple column values, so then we create LOV. So, let, let us take one example. First, I will create one, okay. I will create one now. Uh, block, I am creating a block then. So, using wizard and I will create the block on EMP table. So, I am including all the columns. So, the block is created. Next, I am creating the canvas. I am adding all the items to the canvas. So, the style is form block is created. So, block is created and these are the items belongs to the block. Then <coughs> suppose here, <coughs> so when it comes to this department number, before enter into the department number, before I enter the value into the department number, I want to see the department details. So, because, so I must input the valid department number. So, before I input the department number, I want to see the department details so that I can input the valid department. So, I want to see all the department details. So, the department uh, includes what department number, department name, location. So, that means I want to see the complete uh, department table. So, before I in input the department number. So, to see the department details, so I will create one LOV. I will create an LOV and I will display the LOV. So, the before user enters the department number. So, let us create LOV. How to create LOV? Go to object navigator. So, in object navigator, there is a call object called LOV. <coughs> Select this object. So, click create. Click create. So, it is asking LOV wizard. Okay. So, click OK. So, either you can create LOV by using wizard or we can create LOV manually. So, first uh, let us use wizard, next we will use manually. So, ok. So, a new record group is uh, based on query, then <coughs> select this option. Next, what do you want to display in LOV? I want to see all the department uh, details. So, write a query to display the department details. So, what is the query to get the department details? Select star from DEPT. Select star from DEPT. Next. So, what do you want to add to the LOV? I want to add all the columns. So, all these three columns are added to the LOV. Next, click next. So, any title you want to show. So, I want to show department details and click next. So, like a written item, like leave it, then click next, finish. So, LOV is created. I created one LOV and this LOV uh, contains department details. So, I want to show this LOV the moment user enters into department number. So, before I input the department number, I want to see this LOV. So, attach this LOV to the item. Okay. Attach this LOV to the item. Either you can attach this LOV to employee number or e name or salary or department number. But when you want to see this LOV, I want to see this LOV when user enters department number. So, attach this to the department number. How to attach? So, go to the properties of department number. Go to the properties of department number. In the department number properties, there is a column called LOV column, LOV column, list of values. By default, this is set to null. That means, no LOV is attached to this. I want to attach that uh, LOV. Just now we created one LOV that is LOV4. I want to attach it to this one. So, here click this. It will show the list of LOVs created. So, from this list select the LOV4. So, LOV4 is attached to this. So, I attach it this LOV4 to okay, department number. Let, let us see this. We will run this uh, form. So, input employee number, uh, input name, input job input uh, high date salary, input salary and input commission. So, department number. Uh, the moment this 
cursor enter into department number. So, in the status bar it is showing list of values that means one LOV is attached to this department number. Okay. The moment the cursor enters into department number in status bar it is showing list of values. So, when LOV is attached to department number, I want to see that uh, LOV. To see that LOV, so go to edit menu. In the edit menu, there is a called display list. In the edit menu, there is a called display list. Select this display list. When you select the display list, then it is showing what uh, department LOV. So, what is that LOV includes department numbers, names, and locations. It is showing the department number. But uh, I, my requirement is I do not want to go to the edit menu and I do not want to select display list. The LOV should be displayed automatically the moment cursor enters into department number. So, I want to display this automatically then how? So, for this then so exit here and so I want to exit here. So, here go to LOV properties in LOV properties. So, there is a property called automatic display. Automatic display is set to no. By default automatic display is set to no. But I want to display this LOV automatically. So, set this to S. When automatic display is set to S, then LOV is displayed automatically. So, let us let us run this again run this pump see the difference. So, like let us run this. So, I am running this then. So, employee number, employee name, job clerk, manager, I did <coughs> salary 5000, commission 500. So, department number, see that. So, the moment this cursor enters into department number, LO is displayed automatically. So, here then, but I will select some one of the department, like either you select 10 or 20 or 30, 40. I select one department. The moment you select one department, so immediately that value should be written to this uh, department number. So, I will select one department. The moment you select one department, immediately that department number should be written to this block item. Okay. The department number, whatever the department number you selected, that value should be written to the block item. Then how? Here in LOV properties, okay. So there is a call column mapping. Okay, there is a call column mapping. So go to this column mapping. So it will show the list of columns available in uh, LOV. One is department number. So you want to return this department number to which item? Okay, you you type the item name or you can select. So in LOV showing three columns, but which column you want to return, which value? I want to return department number and department number should be returned to which item, return item. So, I want to return this department number to uh, uh, department number in employee block. So, what is the return item? Click this browse. It will show the list of items in block uh, to which item you want to return. I want to return it to the EMP dot department number. So, this is block, EMP is block name, department number is item name. So, this LOV department number is written to the block department number. Okay. Click this OK. Then run this form. So, employee number, employee name, <coughs> job, I did salary, commission 500. Now, press tab, then immediately displays LOV. From this list, I select 30. So, this employee is joining in 30th department, I select 30. So, when you select 30 and click OK, the value 30 is written to this one. Okay, no? See this. So, it is showing LOV. Suppose I am selecting 20. Select 20, click OK. The value 20 is written to this block item. So, to return this value to the block item, you have to go to the LOV properties. In LOV properties, there is a property called column mapping. In the column mapping, you have to set the return item. So, that department number should be written to which item. Okay. So, this is like how to use LOV sin okay, block. So, this is uh, by using like uh, how to 
create this LOVs programmatically and how to display this LOVs programmatically. Okay. This is uh, like using uh, properties and options we are showing the LOVs, uh, but I want to show this LOV programmatically. So, then how to see this? We will see that in the next session. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.